Welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. This is your host Aaron Cox from PhotoshopDemos.com and we'll be talking about the new window document or how to open a new document. And the first thing we'll do is we'll come up here to File and we'll do New. Optionally, to get this window, as you can see by the label here, it says Control N. Okay, on a Mac that's going to be Command N. We'll just go ahead and hit that for now. And we'll get this new document window. Okay, first thing we're going to want to do is actually name our document. And just for keeping it in standard practice, we'll go ahead and name this as my dash new dash document. Notice I have dashes in between where those spaces would normally be. And then I have it all lowercase. I like to just keep that consistent again just because that's kind of the uh, standards for naming document and then notice in presets you have a whole set of options now this just depends on what kind of document you're going to use uh, for US paper we're going to have a few different preset options here letter legal and tabloid and then for international paper you'll see that this option changes and we have a variety of different paper sizes here as well and so for each of these presets these are all built into Photoshop and this is what they give you as standard now you don't have to use these options but the nice thing is they're there out of convenience so if you know you're gonna build a website the most current standard for building a website is 1024 by 768 so we'll go ahead and choose that for right now and you'll notice that we have a resolution of 72 dpi with the rgb color mode okay and the background is going to be white now if i was to change this to photo you'll notice that now i have a variety of different standard photo sizes every front thing from landscape to even portraits okay a landscape is just wider than it is tall and the portrait is going to be taller than it is wide so if i do an 8 by 10 you'll notice that by default this gives me a 300 pixel per inch image and it's 8 by 10 inches wide so for right now I'm gonna go ahead and choose the um, web standard 1024 by 768 I'm gonna leave it at 72 dpi now I'm gonna come down here your color profile uh, is really important in terms of what kind of document you're going to be using. If you're going to be working on the internet and only designing graphics for say a website or for online viewing, you can leave it at the standard working RGB um, if you like. I typically like to use the Adobe RGB 1998, especially if you're going to be using anything for print. Uh, this is a good profile. It covers a lot of colors and it has the best uh, color matching from a standard printer to your color profile. Now, if you have a specific printer that has a specific profile, you'll find it in this window here. So just be aware that each printer may have its own color profile, and you will want to choose the correct profile that matches your specific uh, document that you're working on. Now, if you're gonna be working on video, you may wanna be choosing the PAL or the uh, other option down here which is NTSC 1953 uh, just depending if you're going to be working with video because that will and again the PAL is more for the uh, European standard and NTSC is more the American standard for working with digital video um, and you have a lot of different options here so just be aware of the different ones and pick the one that best matches your document so now that I have my document named I have the appropriate size I can go ahead and choose OK. And then I'll get a document that now fits that exact size. Okay, So that's how you open a new document, a brand new document. If you want to open um, existing files, just simply hit Browse, or you can do Open. And if you do Open, that's going to pick an image from your local desktop. This is a project I'm working on right now. Or you can go to Desktop and find the image from your actual desktop. For right now, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that because I'm not opening a existing document. And I'm here with my new document. And now once I have that open, you'll see that I can open up my layers palette here. And you can see that I have this new blank layer and I can start fresh with a brand new document. And just coming back to the new document window, just to give you a couple more little last minute tips, is 
Additionally, you can go into Device Central. This is a new feature of Adobe CS3. And this will open up a whole new dialog box that pertains specific to different devices such as mobile phones, PDAs, and um, other handheld type of um, devices. So just giving this a second here, I'll go ahead and resize this a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on in this particular window. And so with this particular area here, uh, you'll be able to choose everything from different types of phones, different types of PDAs, and when you choose these different options, they'll be preset to the size standard that they need to be for that specific document. So look through the list here. Um, if you're going to be designing something specific for a mobile phone or a PDA, um, just go ahead and look through the list and find the one that pertains to that because there's a lot of different sizes, a lot of different options, and you'll be able to design things specifically for your own mobile phone or for a client's mobile phone. So go ahead and do that. And if you were to do create, it'll go ahead and create that document for you and you'll be ready to go. You'll see here it'll pop up a new window similar to this one, but now it's formatted with the correct size and shape. Go ahead and exit out of that for just a moment. And that is about it on creating a new document. If you have further questions, visit us at photoshopdemos.com with all your questions and answers. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Again, this is your host, Aaron Cox from photoshopdemos.com.